Or at home to finally figure out you know what it takes to execute at the end and to do it in this building on the road like what, what does that say about how much you guys are growing right now uh, a lot of poise you know staying connected um, you know we practice late game situations and practice all the time and um, you know I think we've really been building improving in practice um, every day and that's what coach said you know with every practice we just got to get better so I think it's starting to show a little bit we just got to continue to keep growing how much do you practice hitting two free throws after you've had your jersey ripped off? <laughs> no, that, that, was, that was crazy. I've never had my jersey ripped before. But, um, you know, yeah, practice free throws every day. So just trying to stay as calm as possible. You know, that was probably the loudest that place has ever got, um, you know, for me shooting free throws anywhere. So it was exciting, though. You uh, had a lot of lobs from Caleb. Was that a film study type thing? Um, no, I think it's just, you know, me and him playing off each other. Um, he's going to trust me to go get it. So, um, you know, if he puts it up, I'm just going to go go grab it. Dwayne, the three that you hit late there, uh, can you take us through that minute and what that play, what it felt like to see that one go in? Yeah, so... Uh... Book it! <laughs> After the uh, at the timeout, you know we had our we had our game plan. Um, he was Caleb was making great plays towards the end of the game, towards the end of the game. Um, you know he, he he had two on the ball and he fought me on the top of the key and I was just ready to knock it down. What does it feel like when you see that shot go in, especially being a, a Michigan guy? Yeah, um, you know I, I shot it like every other shot I shoot. So um, you know I shot it with confidence and you know it does feel good to, to make one and hit a dagger in, in the closing minutes. But um, like I said, it just sh 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 one, just like another shot. So. Dwayne, you really took the ball to the hoop today. Um, how did that develop? Um, just being aggressive. Um, you know, that's something I've been working on this, this whole year. Um, you know, I, I felt like I should have finished a little more, uh, a little bit better around the rim. But, um, you know, it happens. And, you know, you just got to uh, attack the rim the same way the next time. Um, Coach has been on me, uh, not settling for jump shots. So uh, getting to the rack has been something that I've been uh, trying to focus more on in, in, in practice. So. Caleb, it was hard to get the offense going early, but you kind of carried the load. Well, what were you doing offensively in the first half to, to settle things? Well, my teammates were finding me in the right spots. You know, coaches put me in the right spots to succeed, and my teammates found me. You did I mean, some fadeaway jumpers against Teske, 7-1. Like, what does it take to make shots like that against a guy like that? Uh, just preparation. You know, working in daily, daily work. So, yeah. Okay, they were finding you, it seemed like in the first half, quite a few pick and pops. Second half, they were finding you on the roll, whether you were passing out of that or, or finishing the layup. Just how did you guys kind of adapt to the way they were defending your ball screen? Their, their, your well, ball the screen. first half, you know, I, was hitting, I was hitting more outside shots, and we said that they were, they were on the swing out more. They were ready to go to X out, or then big wasn't going to stay so long on the guard, and so just rolling with it. That's what, that's what just went on. How much better do you feel like you've gotten as the roll man, catching the ball, controlling yourself, and knowing where to go with it once you get it? Uh, I think I've made decent bounces my freshman year, you know, with everything that I do. And just, like I said, daily work and preparation. My coach is finding me in the right spots, putting me in the right spots to succeed, and my players find me also. Do you guys speak on the physicality of this game? I don't. Like, I need words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if uh, put that into words. Yeah. Like, I mean, that was a tough game. I got his jersey ripped off. I got, I got scratched by a saber tooth. Like, yeah. <laughs> it was a tough one. We knew it was a Big Ten road game, um, especially yeah, here. Uh, the team up north, uh, you knew it was going to be a battle. So um, it's a rivalry for both of us, and uh, we knew it was going to be a very physical game going into it. You guys have had close games late, but you haven't been able to finish it out. Three weeks ago, could you have found a way to win a game like you did tonight? Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's where I was talking. You know, we've grown a lot in this past couple of weeks. Um, <laughs> we worry about what's so what's I think I think we just need to continue uh, to keep growing and, and you know see improvement like this. So, yeah. What does it feel like to get to celebrate after a win like this? Feels great going on with the win. Yeah. Um, now we gotta just move on. Uh, we gotta analyze this, learn from it, and then uh, move on from it and uh, next opponent. So get ready for our next opponent. Dwayne, how have you felt getting in some extended point guard minutes the last couple of games? Uh, definitely feels good. Um, you know, I feel like I, I can get a, more of a rhythm just having the ball a little bit more in my hands, uh, making plays for others, um, something I've also been working on. Um, so, I, I mean, I like it, if, if that's the question. I like it a lot. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm getting better each game. I'm getting better in practice. So, um, uh, it's, it's, I'm starting to feel out. What's the biggest adjustment you've had to make now where it's like you're going to roll or now you're maybe going to play make a little bit more just for yourself? Uh, just knowing, um, you know, like, take what the defense gives you. Um, you know, still being aggressive and, and looking for my shot, but also knowing, um, you know, what we want from the play being run, if we're trying to look high low, if we're trying to um, get it into the post, if we're trying to high ball screen pop, like, just little stuff like that. I'm, I'm watching a lot more film, and I'm, um, you know, talking with the coaches I'm, I'm more consistently about uh, what we want from, from the team on the floor. Defensively, did you feel like you guys were able to make them make miss some shots that they normally would make? It seemed like they had some decent looks, but they weren't falling. Did you feel yeah. like you were affecting them? 
Yeah, no, I mean, I felt like we were competing. Uh, that's the thing. We got to keep up our intensity the whole game, the whole 40 minutes, because especially when that place gets loud, you know, they make a run. Um, you know, we were really talking about just staying connected, staying more connected throughout the game. And I think we were able to do that, you know, and, and, and talk on defense. And that, that just helped us in the end with, you know, making them miss some push shots. Kyle, you guys had to make a lot of big plays, but there was a little stuff that coach has been harping about. You, you made every inbounds play. I mean, you didn't throw it away. Mm -hmm. Uh, when Caleb was hemmed in, he yeah. found a way to hit Wayne up top. Yeah. What about, Coach has always been harping on the little things. Is that what he was talking about? Yeah, I mean, in Big Ten play, like, you know, these games are going to come down to those little things. So it could be a loose ball, 50-50 ball, whatever it may be. Um, you know, that stuff adds up by the end of the game. So, you know, if, we, if we're winning those plays, you know, we're, we're competing and we know, we know we're doing the right thing. Caleb, how'd you get that scratch? <laughs> <laughs> It was, it, was a, it was a transition play, and, you know, it got scratched. You know, it was a basketball play, I guess. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> One I, think of the only, I think you only had eight turnovers as a team today. I don't think you had any. I know that's something that's really we, I know that you guys have worked on. It. We've asked you a lot of questions throughout the year. What, what, what allowed you guys to control the ball that way? Uh, like you said, we worked on it in practice. You know, our front court was having too many turnovers, me especially, because I have the ball in my hands most of the time during the game. And, and just working on it in practice every day, making the right plays. How are the offense is going to come from the offense runs to you? Like, why are you rebounding so much better than you did your first two years ago? My body's completely different from what it was the first two years here. I, mean, I feel like that's what it contributes to. And just like I said, the daily work, you know, going against Ibrahim and Diallo, you know, he's an active guy on the boards, and I feel like he helps me. Caleb, was this the best game you've played, you think, in your career? Given the opponent, given where you guys are in the season, where you played? I've played a lot of games. I've had a lot of points, but I feel like this has been one of my better games. Okay. You're never really good at answering questions like that.